Good morning YouTube. This is Chuck Gentles again and I want to welcome you back to my channel again. And uh, I'm not out prospecting obviously. The weather's getting warmer and warmer by the day so that's going to be limited and we still don't have any water. So what you're looking at now is the back of the Lion Energy Safari solar generator. And this generator is just an amazing piece of, piece of equipment. It's uh, It'll take 3,000 watts continuous, 6,000 watts surge. Uh, it has, uh, I believe it's a whole string of uh, USB ports that are charger, chargers, uh, USC, uh, 12 volt DC, and 120 volt AC. So you, you can have any of these outputs when it's running. And I tried to use this the other day when my <coughs> I was doing a 3D print and my power went off and I couldn't get this to work. So I figured, well, I'll just get the charger and try to charge it. And I tried to charge it, and it wouldn't do anything. It just wouldn't uh, fire up. It wouldn't take off and go. And uh, so I did a little research on it. They give you a really good manual with it, but uh, couldn't exactly find anything. So now it's sitting on my bench in the shop, and we're going to pull this back cover off and see just what we can get to inside here. Okay guys, I've made a decision here to pull the back cover off the solar generator. There's eight bolts. You can see I pointed to my magnetic tray there. I've got one screw already out. And I'll continue on to pull all eight of these screws and remove that cover. That gives me access to the, the batteries themselves and to the BMS, which is the battery management system. And the battery management system takes care of the batteries so they don't overcharge and they don't sit too long because they you're supposed to recharge these every six months and uh, I hadn't done that so this is partially my fault that it has no power because <laughs> I didn't recharge it after six months okay so I'll get the rest of these screws out and try to remove this cover and uh, <clears throat> I make a decision here I mean, in a little bit, you'll see, that uh, decide not to. And if you look, there's there's three plugs on the back. There's the one uh, on the left there. Uh, that's to jumper to the small unit that can sit on top of that. The one on the right is for the solar panels. And if you look on the left side, the far left side, is a cord and plug. And you see I had a little trouble trying to get the cover off. It didn't happen, so I, I regrouped right away here and decided, well, we'll just take this cord loose on the back. It didn't take me too long to think about that. And I'm doing a voiceover again in case you didn't notice. Uh, the, the mic didn't work. Oh, not because of the mic. I forgot to turn the switch on, so... Hadn't been using that mic long, but it, it works good when you have it turned on, and I didn't, so that's why there was no voice on this thing. So this is a three-prong plug wrapped around. That's really neat. That way you always have that cord with this machine generator, and uh, you just plug it in, and uh, plug it in. Now I uh, use a shop cord here. I think I turn it around, yeah, and I turn it around here so you can see the screens on the front. Now there's a, a video screen on the front and all the plugs. You can see at the bottom there's the 620 volt ones. On the right are, are the USB and USC groups. And on the left there's a 12 volt DC plug. And you can turn them on and off individually. So now we're going to plug it in. <coughs> and you can see the power light came on at the top and the screen light come on. And it's showing the battery. It briefly showed a charge, but it doesn't have one. You can see it's 0% there. And it's now it's going to be sensing the voltage here pretty quick. Now, why it didn't sense it in the house when I tried to charge it, I don't know. But this is a big generator, big solar unit. And it's just wouldn't take a charge for for whatever reason 
I tried for probably a half hour to put a charge on this thing of any kind. Tried everything I knew to try and nothing seemed to work. So what we're going to do is leave this plugged in here for a minute and see if it starts picking up a charge. And that little battery there shows you the percent of, of fill of the battery. And there's two other windows that gives you the hours and minutes of charge time and uh, the wattage in. So everything will be displayed on the screen as, as the video goes on. And don't mean to bore you with this, but you know that's just the way it works. So we're going to let it go right about here because you've seen enough of that. Bye. Okay, guys, here we are back at the front of the machine again. And uh, you can see uh, where I'm pointing there. Uh, it, it shows that the the power is on, the screen is on, and the battery's there. Now I'm checking to see if I have voltage at that outlet. Now when I push that switch, I should get it. And you can see the meter on my left, and the voltage is going up, and I believe it's 117 and change. And it is. So that tells me that the unit is taking a charge, and it's supplying power to to the devices I just stuck the meter in. And <clears throat> that tells me that the charge is, is going to be start building up. And if I guess you can't see the battery there, but the meter told me that that's all that part of it's working. So the BMS. So battery maintenance system is working now and it wasn't working before and see I'm at 2% charge if you look to the battery on the left I can't see the time I'm guessing it I think it started out at like two hours and a half or something like that for a full charge and uh, I keep it in the shop my uh, goodness because I did a little bit of scrapping while I was in there didn't have nothing to do rather than sit there and watch uh, I can't I can't read that because of the glare on the screen and neither can you so <laughs> Sorry about that. Sorry about this voiceover again at this one of those things that happens when you got a separate mic switch and I'm Not used to it, but the mic works When it's working and it doesn't when it isn't turned on so <laughs> there you go All right guys, so we've been on for just a little bit and you can see the screen's lit up again. Now I'm at 5%, and I think it's just been a few minutes. Uh, time for charging was 2 hours. I think it was 2 hours 32 minutes, and I didn't catch the wattage on that one. But it shows you how much wattage is being inputted to charge. There we go. Although I still can't see it now. But we're at 6%. And the whole thing did take about two hours, two hours plus, maybe two and a half hours. Uh, and from plumb dead to uh, fully charged at 100%, that's that's really good. And I uh, don't know what else to say here at this point because we're just looking at the screen that it says it's charging and the time to its full charge is shown and the wattage that to make it full charge is shown. And the... Uh, Recepts below I see that switch is still on and That's a pure sine wave outlet. This is really good Because this this uh, generator is a 3,000 watt continuous 6,000 watt surge So it, it can take a lot. I mean I can run refrigerators and that off of it. I Haven't tried that yet, but now that we're fully charged we might try all kinds of stuff Especially when we go camping and just, you know, just play with it. Okay. Now you've probably got tired of looking at that screen, so I'll be back. Okay, guys, so we're continuing to charge here. You can see the battery actually showing the charge in it and all the green coming up in that little battery on the side. And uh, the hours and the wattage uh, still on to the right and below. And I'm showing the 12 volt plug there, the receptacle for it. And the switches that turn what on and off, then you can see with that button I just push other things on the screen, the voltages and the USBs and whatnot. And those also indicate at the top. Okay guys, we're uh, about 50% charged now. Actually a little bit higher than that. Look, I can't read it on my screen either. 
Looks like maybe 71. And we're down to just minutes on the, the timer to a full 100% charge. And uh, everything's going well, so uh, there's no sense just belaboring this and letting you sit here and watch something that really doesn't matter too much, does it? Uh, because this generator will be fully charged at the end. You won't be able to see it here, but uh, as it's been working really good trying to pick up this charge, uh, the ma uh, battery maintenance system is working. So that was the problem. It wasn't working, and now it is. So anyhow, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share, and subscribe. Come back again, give it a great comment. You know, and I'd rather be out prospecting than playing with this generator or doing whatever, but uh, when you have no water and it's 100 degrees, it's not fun to prospect in. So, so anyhow, I uh, uh, hope you like this video. And if you're going to do anything outside, remember to uh, stay safe out there, stay blessed, and pray a little bit when you're doing things. It really, really helps the outcome of what you're doing. Be back. All right, guys, I know I just said this, but if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share with a friend, subscribe, ring the bell for future notifications, give a great comment, and come back soon. So now you got a double sign-off. Thank you so much for watching. Come back anytime you want to.